I am recording and uh whoa. I just noticed that um uh, I'm matching with my little uh air freshener that I had made. Woohoo hee hee woohoo <laughs> Anyways Yo, what's good YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Paul Tom back to you with another video. Today I'm gonna talk to y'all about a camera. And if you guys didn't read by the title, we are gonna talk about the Sony A6000. Now, some of y'all might be wondering, Paul, why are you talking about a nine-year-old camera that came out in 2014, in 2023? And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I love this camera. Uh, I got this a few months ago and it hasn't done me wrong yet. I've taken some of my best photos with this camera and it's a more than capable camera for the things that I use it for anyway. So if you do things like post on Instagram, social media, your website like Squarespace, or if you post YouTube videos like me, then you might wanna stick around and watch the rest of this video. First of all, let's talk about some of the specs. This is a 24.3 APS-C camera, and it shoots at 1080p at 60 frames per second. Um, so for any of my hybrid shooters that like I said, post on Instagram, social media, or on YouTube. This is more than enough that you need as long as you have the right lens. If you're looking for something that you really just wanna take pictures or videos with, I would say get this one. There's a lot of things I love about this camera and there's not a lot of things that I don't really like about this camera. So let's talk about the main thing. One thing I love about this camera is it's nice and compact. Yeah, my pinky does hang off a little bit. I don't have the biggest hands, but I also don't put the biggest lenses on this. If I do want to put big lenses on a camera, I'll use a full frame body. But uh, I usually carry like a 24 or a 35 millimeter lens on this, which if you do the conversion, it is a 1.5 crop. So keep that in mind when you get lenses for an APS-C camera. Another thing I love about this camera is the viewfinder. It's an electronic viewfinder. It's not the best viewfinder by any means, but it does help me compose my shot. I also got this, you know, this eye cup to kind of block out some of the external light that's coming in to my eye so I don't blind myself. But uh, yeah, the next thing I wanna talk about that I really like about this camera is that it's an interchangeable lens camera. And Sony has a plethora of lenses that you could choose from when it comes to native lenses or even third-party lenses. So as I mentioned earlier, I do use either a 24 millimeter or a 35 millimeter on this camera. Usually nothing more than that. This is my, what my 35 millimeter looks like. I have my 24 millimeter on my camera right now that I'm recording with. So I'm not going to take that off and show you guys. But yeah, it's super easy to remove. I just use like this body cap that has a lens on it that was like 25 bucks. It's nice that I could still shoot with it, but then... um it's protected it's really cheap so another thing i like about this camera is the fact that it is a 24.3 megapixel camera so a lot of the pictures that i feel like are not going to end up being good actually do end up being some of my favorite pictures that i take because of the fact that it shoots in raw and the megapixel count is not bad it's pretty good 24 megapixels that's that's more than enough it's better than my iphone so um uh, i can't really complain about it um I like it. I, I like using it. it. I utilize it and I don't pixel peep like that. Um, I'm not going to blow this up on a huge print. Uh, usually I just put it on my website or I put it on my Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram at kingpaul.jpg and that's King Paul with two G's on Instagram, um, go ahead and hit that follow button. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to the video. So yeah. 24 megapixels, more than enough of what I need. Uh, it's perfect for what I need. Perfect everyday camera in general. And the last thing, not the last thing, but one of the main things that I like about this camera, and it might be a little controversial because uh, a lot of people don't like it, but I actually really enjoy it, is having a on-camera or in-camera flash. And a lot of people don't like this flash. It's not my favorite, I will say, but it definitely beats carrying around a big speed flash that goes on top on the hot shoe mount. Um, especially when I'm in a tight situation where I don't have enough light shooting at night or I'm out with friends. It just helps getting in more light in the photo. Now, some of the things that I don't like about this camera. And uh, like I said, I don't have a lot of things I don't like about this camera. But one of the first things I don't really like about this camera is that it's not a fully articulating screen. As you can see, it's just a a back tilt screen so you could tilt it up so if i want to shoot up high like this 
or you know like shoot a little bit higher like that i'm really limited um, i'm used to shooting on an nex or i was used to shooting on an nex and i was able to flip the screen all the way back so when it came to vlogging it was really nice especially when i had a nice wide lens with it usually it was the kit lens but um i mean it's still nice but if i want to do portraits and i want to shoot down low i can't really see i have to actually bend down to also see it as well so there is that and uh yeah, it's not my favorite. Another thing that I don't like about this camera is the fact that it's not full frame. Um, if you guys know the difference between APS-C or crop sensor versus full frame, I don't get enough light sometimes in the uh, in the camera and I can't really crank up my ISO as high as I can with a full frame sensor. So with this, I usually don't shoot it anywhere above 3200 or really 1600. This isn't the best camera in low light, but because I have a handy dandy flash um it's not the worst and then another thing i don't like about the camera is that it doesn't have a 3.5 audio um plug-in or jack for a microphone so if i want to vlog or if i want to take videos with this thing i really just use the uh, the end body microphone i don't want to use one of the sony microphones because it's like 250 dollars for uh for a um, shotgun microphone that i'm really only going to use for this and i don't use i don't do a lot of video work with this unless i'm recording with a microphone that's plugged into my computer so uh there's that and then the last thing i want to say that i don't like about this camera in i think a lot of people can agree is the battery life uh this is a tiny battery uh it's doesn't use the new batteries that Sony has now for you know the full frame system but uh this is the NPFW50 battery so it's small it lasts probably like two three hours before it dies on a full charge which is fine for me because I don't shoot for super long I just like going on short walks or short trips and just taking a few photos here and there and yeah I mean it's not a big killer for me but you know i definitely wish the battery life was better so i could just like keep my camera on and always be ready to just oop oop snap but um yeah but besides that i don't really find too many flaws in this camera uh like i said there's plenty of other cameras that have already came out after this but uh as a starter budget camera um you can't go wrong with this so who is this camera for I want to say that this camera is for you know people who are just starting out taking pictures or they just want a nice compact camera that they could take around with them whenever they go travel or take pictures to make memories right that's really what the camera is for is really capturing the moment that you're in so that's why i like this camera i'm by no means a professional but like i said in my previous video i am a guy an amateur photographer that just likes to take pictures i like taking pictures and just making memories and um remembering those memories through an image that uh was taken during that moment so uh yeah this is definitely more of like the hybrid camera so you could vlog with this you could take really good photos with this um and yeah just take a camera bring a camera this camera or any kind of camera um make memories that this is something that i like taking around and I don't really need to use it for like any client work or I can use it for client work if I really want to. The motto for this for this video is make memories after the moment. And uh, that's really what photography is. And that's why I love it. It's um, it's something fun, easy to do. Obviously, there's different techniques and you can watch plenty of other videos. You don't have to be here to, to learn new techniques. But um, yeah, just make memories. And uh, live in the moment and, you know, take the images that you get to uh, remember those moments. But, uh, yeah. So, is this camera worth it? In my opinion, it is. It depends on what your budget is and um, where you could find it. Like I said, I got this used and a pawn shop. And it did only have 50 shutters or shutter actuations on it. Or less than 50 shutter actuations on it. And, um, you know, I, I was lucky. I got this for a pretty good deal. I would say it's, I got this with the kit lens. So the kit lens is the 16 to 55 millimeter zoom lens. And I got it for 400 bucks. Um, I would say that's a pretty good deal. Usually I think new, especially what I've seen on Amazon for brand new, 
is like 600 to 700 bucks i mean it's not a bad price but you could definitely get a better body for that price if you get this used i would usually see it in like the 350 to 500 dollar range and like i said i got this for 400 so uh, i i use the hell out of this camera I love it and I have very little complaints about it. So if you did have any consideration of getting this camera and this video did help you decide if you wanted to get this camera or not, give give this video a nice little uh nice little thumbs up and give it a like cuz uh and it does help the channel a lot. But um that's all I really got to say. Um like I mentioned earlier, you guys could follow me on Instagram at King Paul dot jpg and that's King Paul with two g's because King all with one G was already taken. So, uh, but like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It does help the channel a lot. And um, yeah, more videos to come. I'm gonna try to be more consistent, be more hopefully like on a weekly basis, bi-weekly, bi-monthly basis. And um, yeah, I have a lot of other video ideas I wanna record and um, put out there. I just gotta record and uh, yeah. So make memories, capture the moment, and um, enjoy shooting. Just enjoy the process. Like always, you guys are awesome. And um, I will see you guys again in the next video. But you guys know what time it is. It's Paul Tom. And I'm out. Peace.